People with disabilities are the fastest growing segment of the world population, about 10%. Regardless of age, gender, race, or geography, disability is reshaping the human experience and the environment in which we live. The mission of the Burton Blatt Institute at Syracuse University is to advance the civic, economic, and social participation of people with disabilities in partnership with people with disabilities. And we do this by finding solutions, by changing laws and policies, and by building the next generation of leaders in the disability community. What inspires me is the resiliency and the efforts of people with disabilities facing the challenges of everyday life. Part of our mission is to ensure that the world recognizes that every person has value. Our global society needs the contributions of all of us. The Burton Blatt Institute is built on the groundbreaking work of Burton Blatt, a former dean of the School of Education at Syracuse University. He was a strong advocate for the civil rights of people with severe disabilities. The problem isn't the problem of our minds not being able to do the right thing. The problem is in our souls and in our values. The radical beliefs he advocated became accepted mainstream philosophy a generation later. When you think of all that Burton Blatt has done and the Burton Blatt Institute has done, they have been pioneers who have asked us to revolutionize the way society treats the disabled. Well, I think BBI is really a remarkable, dead-on example of what scholarship in action really is about. It's really taking to the world an issue that is so important to the future of this world, and that is how to be inclusive to make the world a better place. Since the passage of the Americans with Disabilities Act in 1990, the United States has led the way in the disability rights movement. I had the, the privilege to be there on the lawn at the White House for the signing. People with disabilities are now not just employees, they're also business owners. They're entrepreneurs. They're participants in the economic mainstream. In 2006, Disability rights were taken to the world with the passage of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, called the CRPD. This treaty was signed by over 100 countries. The CRPD is the first human rights treaty in the 21st century. And it was very important that uh, disabled people organizations could participate in the drafting uh, process. BBI's involvement with the World Bank and implementation of the UN Convention on Disability Rights is a perfect example of its far-reaching efforts to include and empower people with disabilities around the world. Through our Washington office, BBI is host to the Global Partnership on Disability Development, the GPDD. The GPDD is really trying to push forth education, accessibility, infrastructure, legal capacity of people with disabilities in these poor countries. And now with the United Nations Treaty on Disability, suddenly, worldwide, there is a huge amount of interest in the field. A lot of research centers are beginning, and uh, we have to learn from each other and work cooperatively. With offices in New York City, Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Syracuse, and Tel Aviv, BBI is constantly networking with disabled persons organizations, with NGOs, and with global development partners in Africa, Asia, India, Israel, all over the world. I'm responsible for managing the projects that Burton Blatt does in collaboration with the Ministry of Industry, Trade and Labor in Israel. We are at the European Union very interested to see how can we compare developments in Europe with developments internationally, with experiences from the United States. For us in, in Norway, I think the Burton Blatt Institute is, is really a source of inspiration. In my country, Nigeria, there's no disability law. My experience at Burton Blatt really enhanced my work back home as a professional, as an advocate for persons with disabilities. BBI is really gaining an international reputation and as well as that, it's actually a model that we're all working towards. It has widened my perspective beyond any scope that I could have imagined. The fact that it has now become the home for the Association of Disability Rights Council, it means that Burton Blatt is going to be at the core of making sure that all lawyers who are doing disability rights law are up to date and current on what's going on.
one of the fundamental strengths of uh, the Burton Blatt Institute is its interdisciplinary approach to all of its activities and weaving that into everything that it is we do. Research, education, training, the dissemination of our activities. We bring together experts in disciplines that have never thought about disability. I bring the legal perspective, but BBI is more than a bunch of lawyers. We've got artists, we've got social science researchers, we've got architects, all bringing these different perspectives and tools to bear on a problem and it transforms the problem and it makes the results, the solutions, more impactful. And that's the exciting thing about BBI. In my career, I've been involved with cases from the United States Supreme Court on down to family court, all focused on disability civil rights. And these cases have taken me all over the world to work with governments, corporations, and individuals. His ability to keep an international focus on human beings and what human beings need and adjust and listen, I think is a fantastic quality. Peter is such an extraordinarily capable guy. He knows everybody in the disability movement and has worked throughout the world uh, on very important issues. And they're always the ones that are just one jump ahead of the rest of us. The things that we're doing are new, they're innovative, they've never been done before, and they have impact on people with disabilities. The Burton Blatt Institute is also bringing disability issues into the academic arena of Syracuse University. Part of BBI's initial mission, as we were invited here by the Chancellor, was to infuse disability issues across the campus into the many different colleges. The Burton Blatt Institute has helped the Whitman School of Management better build our entrepreneurship program to help students become more aware of disability issues. Students are getting training in both business planning and working with people with disabilities who are working in our Startup New York entrepreneurship program. They worked with me to figure out my business plan, my financials. I was able to receive a grant. It brought back my self-esteem, a positive attitude. I'm able to hold my head up. I'm not embarrassed that I've been disabled. Uh, since I'm a veteran myself uh, and became disabled during my military time, I have uh, a vision of creating a training program for veterans to launch careers in the uh, professional building trades. The Entrepreneurship Boot Camp for Veterans takes veterans with disabilities who have become disabled during Iraq and Afghanistan service and gives them the opportunity to apply their strengths and become self-employed entrepreneurs. If we are successful in engaging all of the colleges on our campus, then we would be the only university in the country that has a university-wide commitment to solving disability problems. PBI is the epitome of what a university research center should be about. They're engaged with faculty from every school and college, finding ways to really have an impact on people with disabilities. I think people are um, gravitating toward a central truth which is that regardless of your difference, you all belong and you have a role to play. And that really sums up, I think, the challenge in the disability field. Theoretical work that's being done here uh, is going to help guide us all in our uh, strategies and decision making. We're not just interested in writing about what's happening in the lives of people with disabilities. We're talking about actually impacting change. That is the very first question we ask ourselves, is how will our work benefit those individuals or people who are trying to meet their needs. It's always focused on helping people to achieve and helping people to accomplish what they want to in life. Disability is part of the human condition and as far as we include all people with disabilities, we are including everybody. We want to make sure that the human family is really a family. These are people who can, not only we can do the right thing by them, but they can genuinely help build the community. We now understand as a society, as Burton Blatt said, that each person can have value. And our world is a better place, more diverse, more interesting, when all people are included.